you could be watching this video for two reasons. One, you could be on a lookout for a 4K webcam. Or you're just curious with the new Rapu C500 4K resolution webcam. Either way, we think we'll be addressing both. We'll get to the specs in a moment. But rather than talk about it, why not show it to you? You are now watching me through the lenses of the Rapu C500 4K resolution webcam. I'm actually using the webcam right now. Now mind you, I did not do any color correction during post-production or editing, nor did I make any adjustments while I'm shooting this right now. No using of software other than a captured software. And the reason why we're doing this is we want to show you how the webcam works in real life situations. By the way, all the footage that you can see me on the screen, that means I'm using the Rapu C500 4K resolution webcam. Now, for the other scenes like the B-roll showing the actual webcam, that's using an iPhone. All right, glad we got that sorted out. Now, the Rapu C500 has a 3840 by 2160 resolution, basically 4K, with 30 frames per second. Now, the software I'm using to capture this video is only capturing it on 25 frames per second. So I guess it depends on the software that you're using. Now the Rapu C500 4K resolution webcam has an 80 degree wide angled lens with autofocus features. So this webcam captures a lot of real estate compared to most 720 or 1080p webcams. I mean, look at the space behind me. It's pretty wide, which is something you need to consider, especially if you don't want to show too much on the screen. Speaking of not showing too much, the webcam has a protective magnetic ring, which you can also remove. Plus, it's also great in protecting the lens during times of, you know, traveling and packing it and so on and so forth. Okay, with that said, let's compare webcams. In a little while, we'll be shifting to my FaceTime webcam that's connected to my MacBook Air M1. And you're also going to be hearing the microphones of the MacBook Air M1. The reason why we're doing this, we can have a webcam to webcam comparison. Okay, so right now we are going to be shifting to the MacBook Air M1 webcam. It's called the FaceTime webcam. And three, two, one. Okay, so we're using now the FaceTime webcam from my MacBook Air M1 unit with the audio being captured by the microphone. Now, at least now you have an idea of how the resolution is compared to uh, the Rapu C500. Now, I'm capturing this with a 1280 by 7 20 dimension of video so basically it's like 720p this is not 4k so don't adjust your tvs or your screens there's nothing wrong with it i haven't changed anything this is still the background these are still the lights that i'm using the only thing that's changed is the webcam plus this webcam has dual noise canceling microphones which we're going to test right now now to capture my voice i'm using a rode nt usb mini and i do have my aircon blasting away at the background so let's see if the dual noise canceling microphones pick up the noise get ready we're shifting microphones in three two one all right now so you can hear me through the dual noise canceling microphones found on the Rapu C500 4K resolution webcam. Now there is noise coming from the air conditioning behind the webcam and I'm not sure if it's picking up the noise, but you can hear me right now. I hope I sound loud and clear. Now of course when you're using webcam microphones, you need to be speaking loud and clear so that you can pick it up. Now I'm going to be quiet for just a while so that we can test if it does pick up some ambient noise. What do you think? Let me know at the comment section. Tell me what you think about the sound. Hold on, we're not done yet. Connection-wise, the Rapu C500 4K resolution webcam uses USB Type-C to USB Type-A. And it comes with roughly about a meter's length of USB cable. Unlike most webcams that the cable is connected to the webcam, in this case, you can remove the USB cable. One thing great about it is that you can replace the cable with something much longer, if that's what you prefer. As for build, well, it is made of plastic, but it's not one of those like, you know, flaky kind of plastic. It's quite durable. Now you can position this webcam in many ways. You can hang it on a computer screen because it does have a notch. Now, if you prefer using a tripod, no problem. There is a quarter inch screw at the bottom, which is, well, typical for tripods and even monopods. Now, what I love about the Rapu C500 is the adjustable neck. 
which you can vertically bend in different angles, which is great for shots like, you know, you're doing some demonstrations on the table. You can angle it that way. More on angles, the webcam can only be tilted up or down. I like some webcams that you can swivel to the left or to the right. Unfortunately, you can't do that. Quiet. Unfortunately, you can't do that. And hopefully, this isn't a game changer for you. So, what do I think about the Rapu C500 4K webcam? I'm very impressed how this webcam handles video the way it is doing right now. It's sharp, it's clear, colors are great. You might see a little bit of grain on certain sides, which is typical for webcams. Even if this is a 4K camera, it's not a DSLR or mirrorless camera but it does get the job done now of course just like in any webcam or in any camera situation you gotta be sure that you have bright lights low lights being grainy videos so make sure you have enough lights around you now all things considered the rapu c500 4k resolution webcam is a steal less than a hundred dollars for a 4k webcam now that's amazing and there you go that's a Rapu C500 4K webcam. Is it a webcam that you are going to be getting anytime soon? Tell us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching Curious Tech Life. I'm Rodney Garcia and we'll see you in the next video.